Sleepy going in, lively coming out. They be wondering what we talking about. Salute. You know what time it is, man. It's nocturnal, nocturnal thoughts. Boxing after dark, man. I got to touch on the press conference between Manny Pacquiao, the Pac-Man, and Errol Spence, the truth. Um, there's not a whole lot to say. I think it was a very professional, uh, classic gentleman. Uh, both guys showed their uh, class, class act material. You know, not a lot of bluster and hype. Both these guys let their performance in the ring do the talking for them. Some people was talking about how Errol Spence might have slurred a few words and maybe was getting the use, getting used to the false teeth or whatever. I don't think that's really the case. I mean, to me, Errol Spence has always been Errol Spence. His demeanor, nonchalant. Manny Pacquiao was very political and professional. He's Manny Pacquiao. Both guys were true to their form. I think the, the press conference was strictly business, straight up and down, no special effects, as Mayweather would say. Neither guy seemed to want to poke at the bear or wake up a sleeping giant. And I think that was one of the major downfalls of A.B. and Keith Thurman. They both had the strategy and the mentality to be full of hot air, bluster, talk a lot of big shit that they really couldn't back up. And as soon as Manny Pacquiao turned that switch over to the killer instinct, they both lost their cool. They defeated themselves before the first round. Errol Spence, I think his mentality is a lot more stern and, 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 and uh, technically, fundamentally more solid. I don't think he's gonna hype himself up and talk himself out of this strategy or, or get himself out of his rhythm or get himself out of his character because he's going against the great Manny Pacquiao. I think that Errol Spence is going to be able to rise to the occasion and be true to form. I think this fight is going to be the passing of a torch while the torch is still lit. And that's something that I have to properly salute. On behalf of Manny Pacquiao, I appreciate the passion of fighting a real fight as far as the strategy in the ring uh, a lot of people talk about the same thing the height advantage the size advantage the age advantage the body work uh, things that might age Manny Pacquiao overnight inside the ring I think they're both um, extremely physically gifted and talented Manny Pacquiao is a specimen and he has really mastered his strength and conditioning going into a fight, especially at his age. I think his style has been seasoned. So he's gonna come in on point and perfect, period, point blank. But I think that a big difference is gonna be Errol Spence reunited with Blu-ray for a strength and conditioning coach. Blu-ray to me is, uh, ahead of his time he's also very young but I watched several of his videos and his training and I think he's advanced and he him and him and Errol Spence just were very cohesive and he got Errol Spence on a different level as far as being able to progressively increase in his stamina and strength and conditioning as the rounds progressed I noticed Errol Spence regress before he fought Mikey Garcia, before he fought Sean Porter. And you've seen a little bit of a rebound when he came back and just fought Danny Garcia. But I think this fight, mentally and physically, and the combination of Blu-ray and Derek James, is gonna make 
uh, Errol Spence really dedicate himself 110% to the craft and he's going to come true to form and be a better version of himself more even better than what he was when he faced against Kale Brooks and Chris uh, Algeries and uh, and Chris Van Heerderen you know what I'm saying and we hope we hope to see Manny Pacquiao be the same as he was against Miguel Cotto and Oscar De La Hoya but I'm thinking he's going to be more closer to the Manny Pacquiao that fought Keith Thurman which I think that version of Manny Pacquiao at that age won't be enough Errol Spence is going to edge out a 12 round decision in my opinion so I hope it's a good fight I know it's going to be a good fight it's going to be a great fight but I'm not going to pay attention to a lot of the different plugs that I like to watch because I don't want to hear nobody shit talking Manny Pacquiao and I don't want to hear nobody shit talking Errol Spence I'm just going to sit back get my popcorn and watch a good fight I'll do another video for the weigh-in and then I'll do another fight uh, predict or post fight prediction post fight uh, video and then that'll be it for me on this fight this is nocturnal thoughts man I'm signing out I salute y'all I appreciate y'all don't forget to subscribe to the channel I'm gone peace Bye. Sleepy going in, lively coming out. They be wondering what we talking about.